And so it begins. In the end, we all burn for our sins. Okay. What's up, everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G, -G, 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 -G Virus, and this right here, this right here, this is Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. Wow, why, why would they do that? First of all, spoilers as far as the eye could see, I was forced to look away from the screen. I wasn't having any of that. Second of all, that intro was entirely too long. Third of all, to me, it seemed like it was just random cutscenes spliced together. Very interesting start, but that's neither here nor there. That doesn't matter. What matters is that we have finally arrived. This is the kickoff to my blind playthrough of the entire Silent Hill franchise, guys. We have finally arrived. I've had this playthrough in my back pocket for a very long time. It has been my trump card, my ace in the hole, my secret weapon, my final attack, whatever you want to call it. I have been gearing up for this thing for a while, and I'm going to attempt, keyword attempt, to play through this entire franchise for you guys to let's play it 100% blind. And when I say blind, for those not in the know, I mean that I have never played this game before in my life any of the entries, never seen anyone else play it, seen no gameplay footage or nothing like that. This is pretty much as blind as it could get, which sounds kind of crazy seeing as it's Silent Hill and also seeing as most of the games I play on my channel are survival horror oriented. That's a big thing about me. I'm the G-Virus. Big Resident Evil fan. I love survival horror and I have never played this game. What? I'm just going to open up the options so it doesn't go to a demo. Yeah, I've never played Silent Hill. And uh, you guys, a lot of my fans, my subscribers have been asking for a Silent Hill playthrough for the longest. And it is finally time. It is finally here. Now, I said attempt earlier because one of the reasons why you haven't gotten a Silent Hill playthrough for the longest is because I was concerned about getting copyright claims, copyright strikes. Konami, they are real copyright Nazis when it comes to their stuff, to their properties. They like to uh, claim a lot of playthroughs that use their games, such as Metal Gear, Silent Hill, and stuff like that. So I was a bit nervous, a bit worried about doing that. Uh, I hear that the opening cutscene and all that stuff is most likely to get flagged or get a copyright strike on it or any type of claim on it. Or maybe the credits. So I heard it's just spots of a playthrough that will get claimed. So maybe I'll have to do some editing. I don't know. Maybe it's just playing it, period. But if you guys are seeing this, then that means, you know, we are good. If you're seeing this in its entirety, there is a possibility this may never see the light of day. And if that happens, that'll be a real shame because that's an entire series I just can't bring to you guys. That would be a big shame. But I'm trying to stay positive and hopefully I'll be able to do this entire series for you guys and you guys can enjoy. You also might be asking yourself, if I'm such a big survival horror fan, how did I end up avoiding Silent Hill all this time? Well, when I was younger, I wasn't really into survival horror games like that. I loved Resident Evil. That was still my number one franchise, and Resident Evil pretty much took care of me as far as horror games were concerned. I didn't play any other horror game. When I think back, Resident Evil was it. It's the only survival horror, horror-type game that I played. It was all I needed. I loved that game. And I also looked at Silent Hill as more of a rival to Resident Evil, and I just didn't want to bother with it it also didn't seem quite as cool that's one thing i love about resident evil that not a lot of people talk about is the fact that it is cool you know you can make action figures and stuff out of resident evil which they did but i always felt like silent hill was its rival and you know kind of looked at it like i'm not gonna play you you know and but uh 
as I've gotten older, I have found myself playing way more survival horror games. It's like my favorite genre, my favorite type of game to play. And I was like, one day I'm just going to sit down and play through the entire Silent Hill franchise. I didn't necessarily intend to do a LP, well, at least a blind LP of this series, but I'm going to do the entire series blind. I was originally just going to do one blind and then do two and three after that, after playing it on my own or whatever. I was going to do playthroughs of two and three, but F it. I'm just going to do the entire series blind, and I hope you guys enjoy that. We are finally here. And this is a disc-based playthrough, like I have the actual physical copy of the game right before me. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the back of the case. Let's see what they were trying to pitch us back in 1999. Is that when it came out? Yeah, let's see their sales pitch. So when you guys walked into KB Toys, Toys R Us, Target, you know, EB, uh, Electronic Boutique, or wherever they were selling this game back in the 90s, the sales pitch on the back read like this. Harry Mason and his daughter Cheryl are driving to their favorite vacation spot. Late that night, a figure suddenly appears from out of the darkness. Harry turns the wheel in panic, and the car careens off the road, knocking Harry unconscious. Awakening some time later, he realized that Cheryl is missing. Stumbling out of the wreckage, he heads towards the small town of Silent Hill. Real-time rendered environments and dynamic camera changes create a truly cinematic horror experience. Stunning visuals and true-to-life CG movies, coupled with horrifying 3D images, will leave you breathless. Intense action and puzzles stimulate your mind as well as your trigger finger. Fog and shadows engulf you in a world beyond imagination. Atmospheric music and sound change with each tension-filled moment. Every town has its secrets. Some are just darker than others. And there it is. Animated blood and gore, animated violence. Silent Hill, everybody. That's the sales pitch they threw at us back then. I'd say it's pretty effective. I'm excited. Also, on the inside of the case, like in the inside lining and on the back of the booklet, there's a really creepy face. It reminds me of a horror movie called Dead Silence with that puppet in it. It looks like that movie ripped that uh, whatever character this is on the inside of the case right out of silent hill but anyways um yeah guys we are ready to do this i guess that's our protagonist right there i don't know what his name is i don't know anything about this i don't think i need to mess with any of the control config screen positioning none of that needs to be best with i'm just gonna go ahead and jump in i don't know what to expect i've heard a lot of bad things as far as the difficulty is concerned with this game. I heard that uh, a lot of parts I'm not going to know what to do. I've heard stuff about fog and getting lost and puzzles. and uh, You know, I'm just going to... I don't know. I might have to do a lot of editing. I don't know. I'm just going to fight through it all. And I don't know what to expect. And uh, thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoy. And here we go. Silent Hill 1. Let's begin. Fight back. These little creatures have knives. And I'm dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Silent Hill, guys. Am I dead? I'm dead, alright? Oh. I was about to say, this game's not fucking around. Nice lips. Another one of the cutscenes they spoiled in the intro. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> okay. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. <laughs> What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. I can't guarantee nothing, honey. You might just get blasted. Yeah, thanks. Especially if I'm wielding the gun. I'm not taking any chances. There's some serious shit out there. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Alright, so we are armed. So I guess, uh, I think I'm just gonna use the, the directional pad instead of the analog control. Oh. Okay. How do I pull out my gun? Oh, sidestepping. Sidestepping. Oh, what the hell? Where's the camera going? Sidestep action. There's something I can collect right there. All right. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have the map for this place. That brings up my map. Paused. Okay. Equip. Uh, is it equipped? It's equipped. It's the only gun I got. Interesting status screen here. Exit options. That's the same options from the startup menu, I'm sure. No map, no name, no name. His name is his name is Harry. Oh no 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 no, that's a number. <laughs> okay okay, number and name of the weapon. All right all right all right. Equipment. Uh, commands. Commands. That okay 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 okay. All right here we go. How do I shoot though? How do I aim? Oh, is he aiming? Let me see if I can fire off a shot. Oh. All right. Well, there it is, guys. Harry Mason, armed and ready. There's a knife. Can we pick that up? No. Oh. Here is a health drink. I guess I'll take that. What else do we got here? Wait, which is the action button? Square? It's got it. No, it's X. There's a kitchen knife. All right, we are slowly but surely arming ourselves for what? I don't know. So I guess the health is like drinks. There's a flashlight. I'll definitely take that. Somebody, someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Oh, so this is how we save. Well, what's my time looking like? I think I can go for a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Let me just investigate a little bit more in this place. Oh, there is a residential area map. Take it. Sure, why not? Oh, man. I was, what the fuck? Wait, what's behind me? Did I just see something behind me, or was that like a graphical error? I thought I saw something flapping around out there. Oh. 
Well, the mugshot of this guy coming out of getting that map scared the crap out of me. <laughs> he just looks kind of funny. But seriously though, playing this game on my HD television, it looks kind of bad. I miss my, uh, my, my CRT television. This game would look way better on that, man. This thing is like really like, uh, really pixelated. But you know, technology has moved on and uh, the games of the past suffer because of it. Uh oh. What's that? How'd I miss that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? The voice acting is definitely interesting. These guys need an energy drink. Uh-oh. Ah! I knew I saw something flapping around out there! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, how do I shoot again? Four shots, five shots to take down. He's probably this not even dead. Dream. What's happening to this place? Oh, flying creatures. The enemies in Silent Hill games are, from what I recall from seeing like screenshots and trailers of them, they are kind of of a weird, freaky variety. We're not dealing with zombies here. We're dealing with all kind of weird, creepy, creepy shit. Hold on, let's take a look at this radio. So we've already got a, uh, there is a pocket radio. Take it, yep. So we already got a bit of a body count on us. We've killed some flying purple thing. Anything to say about the pinball? A pinball machine, nothing unusual. Fair enough. Okay, let's go ahead and head outside. I'm not going to stray too far because I think I'm going to save and go ahead and cut this video, but I'm pretty sure he'll have something to say about being outside. Maybe a cutscene will happen. Maybe something interesting. Maybe something else to kill. Where could Cheryl have gone? They're really being inconsistent about when they want to have actual people talking and just stuff we read. I guess I'll check that alley again. Oh, man. Finney Street... Eleven, leaving. Oh come on. Oh boy. All right. Oh, there's a car. I'm assuming we can't get in there. Can't even say anything about it. I don't want to stray too far. What's my time? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. That no parking anytime. A whole bunch of stuff right here. There are some handgun bullets. All right. Well, you know, I wasn't expecting to get a handgun so fast, but. We got one, and we're ready to do our thing. I guess they're not... Oh, he can run into walls. Like, the controller vibrates when you run into walls. It's like, you run smack dab into a wall. It's like, vibrates hard. Don't knock yourself out there. Wait a minute. What's that noise? The music is very creepy, and the fact that he randomly... Oh, shit! I knew I heard something flapping after me. Alright, um... I bother to take this thing out. How many? It's probably gonna be. Oh, I can move and I can move while aiming. Okay, that's one plus that this game has over the Resident Evil series, at least the early entries. Uh, that thing landed. It looked like he was about to run after me. That's not good. That we look at my ammo. Stock nine. Uh, Twenty-four. Yeah, I can pretty much. Go crazy with my well, not crazy, but I could let off shots pretty comfortably at whatever comes my way. Cause I have quite a bit of ammo. That's so weird. It just stops me in my tracks if I run face first into something. All right, well, so from what I've heard, when people were warning me about this game, is that I'm gonna get lost and it's confusing and it's kind of hard. So that fog is making it hard. There's like no kind of draw distance because of that fog. I can't see off into the distance whatsoever. Oh, there's something else flapping around around here. I'm just going to go back and save, and that's going to do it for this install. But I'm probably going to not be able to find the diner that I was just at. <laughs> it's got to be just right over here, right? Yeah, it's right over here somewhere. Because I need to save. All right, yeah, here we are. All right, guys. Well, an interesting start. To let's play sound. I must say, right off the bat, I uh, I am definitely intrigued. The whole atmosphere and uh, the way this, the way the game looks in general, is right up my alley. It's a shame I missed this when I was young. What was I thinking? 
my loyalty to Resident Evil was a bit too, uh, I was just a bit too loyal. This looks like this is going to be fun. Unless it gets insanely hard and starts pissing me off. But, you know, so far so good. So I'm going to go ahead and save, guys. Cafe. You saved it at a time. Not 48. So I've only been playing for 9 minutes and 48 seconds, really. All right, guys. That's going to do it for part one of Let's Play Silent Hill. If you like the video, I mean, Let's Play Silent Hill blind. I need to stress this blind because I'm probably really going to be sucking at this. You guys got to understand that it's blind and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But yeah, if you like the video, feel free to like it. If you want more, feel free to subscribe. I have other playthroughs you can check out if you want to be updated when another Silent Hill video is uploaded. Feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next installment of Let's Play Silent Hill 1 Blind. Later.